Okay, let's have a look at this question right here. What we're going to do, just to start off with, and that's um, all we want to do with this little video here, is we want to talk about restrictions on the variable. When you've got a, an, an equation here, or basically anytime you've got a square root, you've got a restriction on the, on the variable here, but there's, it's a little more to it when you've got an equation here. To start off with, we know that uh, if we want to have real numbers, yeah, can't be taking the square root of a negative, so that means that 3x minus 7, what's underneath the radical has to be positive or 0, because you can take the square root of 0, square root of 0 is 0. This has to be positive, okay? Because I have to take the square root of a positive, whatever that is must be positive, and then once I've got this expression, I can manipulate it to get x by itself, firstly by moving the 7 over, so I'm going to add 7 to both sides, and then I'm going to divide by 3. So x has got to be greater than 7 over 3. Now that's if this is an equation, that's just part of the restriction. Uh, if this was just an expression, that would be it. If there was nothing else to it, that would be it here. But because this is an equation, another thing here is a square root symbol, and we talked about this earlier in the course, can only produce a positive value. So this side of the equation is positive, and because it's equal to this, that means this side of the equation must also be positive. x minus 5 must be greater than or equal to 0. And this tells us that x has to be greater than or equal to 5. Now when you compare these two answers here, x is greater than or equal to 7 thirds, x is greater than or equal to 5, it turns out that the overriding restriction here, where, where these are both true, are only for values of x where x is greater than or equal to 5. If that's true, then we know for sure that both of these are true. However, you can pick a number just like, for example, the number 4. 4 is bigger than 7 thirds, yes, but it's not bigger than 5, so that wouldn't be a restriction on the overall function here. That's what that has to look like for this equation.